Uh, dear friends, I would like you to welcome Emil Shikarzitsky to the stage, the founder and CEO of the Premium Network and Coworking. Emil, please take the stage. Thanks. Thank you very much. This is our place. Hi, hello. I would like to tell you in my uh, few minutes how great Bulgaria is. As investor, as an uh, Israeli startupist, as a foreigner here in Bulgaria who moved his life to here, Bulgaria is a pure heaven. It's like a diamond that is hard to see the inside of it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it seems that we, the foreigners living in Bulgaria, are almost the only ones, the minority, that looks through this pink, beautifying glasses at Bulgaria, especially of these times. But truly, it's beautiful. Remember my words. We have built here, me and my partners from Israel and from Bulgaria, a co-working network. Yes, it's a real estate company, by definition, in front of the bank, in the papers. It's a real estate company built from crypto, by crypto and dedicated entirely to blockchain. From the very first beginning, we dedicated the spaces to developers, startups, and supportive to, to them, accountants, lawyers, marketers. But it's not the real business. Actually, this is the first time, April, that we turned profitable. Just very slight profit, but still, still above the water. Yesterday, in our pre-party, uh, one of the guys I added to the presentation, Maximilian, told me something interesting that I felt that I must share with you. He told me that in Hong Kong, a co-working network of few places, less than uh, both of your hands, were both bought for $400 million. Just few co-workings by a big player. Uh, do you think they bought the real estate? Maybe, as a backup. They bought the people, they bought the community, they bought what's being created there. We invest in people through real estate. We use the real estate as safety, and we are having fun doing it. By a very short operation time here in Sofia, we have reached uh, the highest pinnacle people, if there is a phrase to say that. We are working here seven months. Yesterday, we had the honor to host uh, Mitsubishi Electric CEO from Japan. Next week, we'll enjoy a TED-like TED presentation from a former minister of economics who is also Jewish, by the way. Uh, the week after, if everything is good, the president will visit us. But tonight, tonight is the most special. Tonight, we have a very, very special guest at our co-working space. Uh, we have you guys. We are doing the after party within our place. So we will try to host you with our most best hospitality, Israeli mixed with Bulgarian. And I hope you will enjoy it. I talked about the big names, but actually the smaller or not big names are the real good people. We have gathered the best we can find in the co-working space. We have installed a special device in the co-working space at the door. A very mini device that is uh, usually installed by rabbis. The Chabad rabbi of Sofia installed it. This device does one trick. It attracts only good people in. Some call it mezuzah, some call it karma. It does not matter, actually, as long as you believe it works, and it works. We invested in people, and we did well. I see it every single day, every single meetup, every single gathering that they do. EOS, uh, Solidity Ethereum, Throne, the Bulgarian Eternity, Hyperledger. Those developers, they all gather together, share knowledge, argue, drink beer, create together. And they are the guys that will become big. I'm sure in a few words. They do it consistently, step by step. We are, we are reaching about 50 meetups already of one single group. And I'm sure something good will come and we all hear about them and we know about them and Bulgaria face will be changed from the smaller people. Remember my words. One final story from my side. It's a very nice story. It's a true Cinderella story that happened at our doorsteps. Story of a tremendously talented guy by every definition. A guy who became famous by doing good things for our planet. His daughter suffers from autism. And educational systems are hard in Bulgaria for this type. Even after all he did, after he invested in his entire life, succeeding, becoming famous, 
building his name, building his brand in Bulgaria, even he decided to leave Bulgaria and immigrate. He set a date for his leave, he prepared his family, he also started a video, a movie, documenting his move out of Bulgaria, even sharing it and making other people see that it's not that bad. Even he gave up. But he came to one event at the co-working. It was the opening event. He came as a guest, by luck. I have personally sensed him from the first word that he said. He said, we, and then other good stuff. Six months later, now, he didn't leave. He did not move his family outside of Bulgaria. His name is Trifon Mikhailov. He is here with us in the crowd tonight. You will be able to meet him. You should be able to meet him. He became a partner and decided that Bulgaria is actually a great place to be. And it actually is. Remember my words. Thank you.